Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is just a relatively short video. Um, recently I made a video about phase and warp modes in Serum and how they apply and can be applied in Bitwig. And at the moment I told you that uh, remapping in Serum, uh, which refers to this mode here, one of these four, does not exist in Bitwig. And what you can do here is uh, you can redraw the curve, uh, basically the phase distortion curve by hand and you can see how the waveform uh, adjusts depending on what i draw in here and this is a really powerful and cool feature and well at the moment that was not available in bitwig uh, but now it is with uh, bitwig 5. so i just wanted to show you real quick how it's done uh, i have a basic setup here which I used during the previous video. We turn off the phase here and we use an external uh, phaser to uh, supply the signal. So what we need to do now is uh, we need to go to uh, Shaper and then grab a transfer module, which is one of the new ones in Bitwig 5, open it up, reset the curve. And now we cannot just uh, drop it in. The problem is that this device expects a bipolar signal and the phase signal is unipolar, so that would lead to kind of unexpected results. But we can deal with that by just enter by and it will, two devices will show up, it bipolar to unipolar and unipolar to bipolar. So first we have to convert the signal to bipolar before we go into the transfer and after the processing, we uh, wanted to turn it back into a unipolar signal. Yeah, now at the moment we have a uh, sawtooth and then we can open up this window and start dragging. And when I compare this to the serum, it is not exactly the same. Um, let me reset this curve. So when I start, oh, that's strange. Here it looks a bit different, but the sole reason for that is that we have a different relationship between the phase and the sawtooth. If I now go here and rotate this 50%, now we can see that it does exactly the same as the serum did before. So just to let you know, don't get irritated by this if it looks different. That is the reason. And what I also suggest you do is activate a phase reset, or, well, if you don't want phase reset by note, uh, we just have to make sure that these two are linked in a static way, at least if we want the same results as, as in Serum. And also something I figured out, this uh, module here is an anti-aliasing and Often I have the impression it sounds a bit better when anti-aliasing is turned off for some reason. And now let's, uh, yeah, let's play with it. Let's maybe load a distortion curve, maybe spicy sign too. Ooh. And the cool thing in Bitwig, of course, is that we are not limited to this. Um, we don't have to opt for only one kind of warp mode. We can now just continue and grab bend module, drop it in. Yeah. Okay, that's just what I wanted to show you. Um, have a nice day. See you next time.